If you was a kid or a teenager back in the 70s or the 80s, you most likely would bought one of these electronic kits. I think I had one of these, and uh, these were great fun. You know, you could sort of dabble about with a few kind of wires and components and make circuits, and uh, these were great. Once you got the box open, you know, it always came with a headphone of some sorts and a set of few wires. All the actual components were mounted on the board. And I was pleased to find, you know, you can actually still buy these now. Um, I'm sorry, I thought they'd long gone, but I haven't. The only trouble is they've actually become quite expensive. And this kit I'm showing here, I think this was about 250 quid in the UK. And that's quite a lot of money to actually pay out. Of course, you can get cheaper ones. This one was about sort of 60 pounds. But there's a problem. And the problem is that although electronic kits have moved on, unfortunately so have teenagers and teenagers don't want to sit down and actually dabble with things like this anymore they're most likely to be social networking or twittering on an iPhone or if you're really unlucky they'll actually be online and sort of shouting and screaming down a headset on online gaming and it's a shame really this kind of like golden era when you sort of sat down and did things with your kids whenever this sort of age it, it sort of kind of seems to have kind of almost died out certainly in the UK so you can end up spending a big hunk of cash and then just find out your kid's actually really not interested in building anything on an electronic circuit board. But of course every cloud has a silver lining and this means that actually these kits are quite available cheaply on eBay. And here's one that I picked up in nearly new condition for a winning bid of £8. In fact no one else actually bid on it. And uh, as you can see here it is all nicely boxed up and it's virtually in new condition. Yeah. This is yep. a uh, 130 project kit. Um, retails, I think, for about 80 to 100 quid actually. And as you can see, look, everything's all basically all nice and sort of like almost new. Um, hardly been used. And for someone on a budget, or if you're just a big kid like me that's never grown up, this is actually quite a good sort of buy. So here's the board itself. Um, yep, it's in really good condition. Just starting from over here, you've just got a uh, sort of volume type control, and you've got an LED circuit, you've got a built in speaker, you've got a light cell, you've got an audio amplifier, you've got radio tuning circuits for building radios, and then moving across, you've got a bank of resistors, then a bank of ceramic capacitors, followed, followed by a switch, some radio diodes, some transistors, and also you've got a couple of integrated circuits as well, as well as a few LEDs to keep you going. So that lot in itself is actually quite expensive if you bought those actually individually. And you get quite a nice comprehensive actual uh, guidebook here which it goes through, it explains the basis of each of the components and kind of what they do and just gives you a kind of little bit of kind of history of the electronics you're actually going to be using. So the idea is, is you just basically sort of read through this before you actually get onto the circuits themselves. And the circuits themselves, you know, they start off really basic actually, which is probably the main problem of the kit. The, initially, the first few circuits, to be honest, aren't all that interested. This is probably where teenagers are going to kind of like lose their interest fairly quickly. But because I'm trying to learn this stuff all over again in my 40s and struggling slightly, I did actually go ahead and build a few of these circuits. And here's the first one I did, and this is kind of a basic circuit. It just basically gives you an audio representation of a discharge of a capacitor. Not the most sort of interesting kit. But I did go on and actually build quite a successful uh, crystal radio, which I'll show you in the next clip. And you can actually hear the uh, the football scores the as they're uh, with the radio live. So I'll leave you with this. I'd just like to say... And Thanks for watching. Leeds 1 leaders Tramier, a goal up at Stevenage, Jake Cassidy's 11th of the season. It's Stevenage nil, Tramier 1. The ball is played long again as the rain comes down with increasing ferocity. Played forward by Mark Bunn. Norwich have a play go down outside the penalty area. Referee plays the advantage as it's worked in for the left hand side by Garrido. Good climb by Everton 1, Norwich City nil. 82 minutes of the game gone and John Ruddy, yes, has gone off the field. I suspect it might be uh, a groin strain because uh, they were awarded head clear. Then it comes back. We can beat any genuine goal. Premier Carpets, 220 yards, Bridge Road opposite. Smith's onside, he's got Yellowby Square in the middle, and it's a shocking attempt to find him, I'm afraid to say. Right hand side, the ball should have been played into the field. Today on Five Live, because of the commentary that will begin at 5.15 from Cardiff, Wales against the All Blacks, and after it, the rugby, uh, straight after the rugby from Cardiff, 6 with Mark Chapman and Robbie Savage tonight.
That'll be around about 7, 10, 7, 15, something like that. Uh, an incident.